In this video, I will cover your binary numbers, how do computers store negative numbers, then bitwise operators such as AND, OR, XOR, NOT and shifting and some bit manipulation tricks. So first we will understand what is mean by binary numbers. Okay. The humans use uh, decimal numbers which means uh, numbers from 0 to 10. Right. So these are the decimal numbers we are using in our daily life. Okay, so this means these are base of 10. For example, if I am writing the number 9, that means it is base of 10. That is mean by decimal. Okay, but computers don't understand decimal numbers. They only use as binary numbers which have just two digits such as uh, 0 and 1. Imagine a light switch. If the switch is off, we can call it 0 and if the switch is on, we can call it 1. So that is how computers store information. Everything is a combination of uh, zeros and ones. Now we are going to understand how we can convert a decimal to a binary number. I want to come convert number 13. That is a decimal number. Okay. So by default we are not going to write like this base. So that means if we are, if I am not writing the base like 10, that means also this is a decimal number. So now I am going to convert this to a binary format so base is 2 okay so here we need to find out the binary representation of this number 13 that means base 2 okay so here first what we are going to do is we will take the number and we will divide this number by 2 okay so here we are getting the answer like 6 right with a remainder 1 right so here I will make us a remainder as R and this is our caution so here i am getting a remainder as one right now again i am taking this caution that means six and here i am going to divide this with the two so here the answer is three and here there is no remainder that means remainder is zero right again i am taking this number three and dividing this with the two so here i am getting the answer as one and the remainder is one right so now again I am going to divide 1 with this 2. So here I am getting answer quotient as 0 and remainder as 1. So when I am reaching this quotient 0 that means it done right. So here the answer is something like this. We need to say like 1, 1, 0 and 1 okay. So this is the binary representation of this number 13 okay. So here this is our answer 1, 1. Uh, 0 1 fine here we can check uh, is it correct or not also for example in this case this is 1 1 0 1 is the binary representation of number 13 right so we can check like that means this is 0 to, uh, power I mean this is 2 raised to 0 okay so here like 1 into 2 raised to 0 plus this is 0 right so is 0 into 2 raised to 1 plus this is 1 right so 1 into 2 raised to 2 plus the last one is also 1 so 1 into 2 raised to 3 okay so here you will get the answer as 1 into 2 raised to 0 is that is 1 right here that is 0 that means this is a 0 only and the third term is 4 right and the last term is 8 so we are getting the answer as 13 right that is this number so now we know how to represent positive numbers in binary right but what about negative numbers computers store negative numbers using a method called two's complements so for example if i want to represent number minus 5 into binary how i can do this that i am going to explain here so first we need to convert this decimal number 5 into binary form so i will convert this into binary something like 0 0 you can find like 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 1 is 5 right so this is only equivalent of 5 now we need to find out minus 5 right so the second step is we need to invert the bits that is also known as ones complement okay do we need to just flip zeros to 1 or 1 1 to 0 we will just invert the bits like 1 1 1 1 and 0 then 1 and 0 right so we just flipped the bits okay that is the second step 
and the third step is we need to add one with this number so just add one with this number okay so that is our uh, third step so the answer is something like this zero plus one is one one and here uh, nothing is there that means these all are zero okay so just write the remaining numbers one so we got uh, the answer like this okay so this is our answer that is minus five equal to this number clear and there is also one trick we can understand a number is uh, minus or i mean positive or negative by checking the msb i mean uh, first digit we can check the uh, leftmost bit if it is one we can say that is a negative number and if it is zero that we can say that is a positive number okay we can also check it back like if we are doing back we are getting this number or not okay that also i will explain here so here to back we can also do the same operation so we need to convert this into uh, the real number we need to again do this two's complement method again i need to invert the bits right so here this is zero zero five zeros and then one then again zero okay now we will add to one so here one zero one so our answer is this this is equivalent to five only that is two raised to two uh, plus two raised to zero that is four plus one right that is five so we got the real number clear now we are going to understand about bitwise operators okay so this bitwise operators allows us to manipulate individual bits so first we are going to understand about and so this and operator is uh, represented by this ampersand symbol okay so for example i want to add two numbers like three and two so what it means is the binary representation of three is we can say this is the binary representation of number three also the binary representation of number two is uh, something like this this one zero is two right the remaining all we can put as zero so in the case of and it returns one if both the bits are one okay so in this case these two are different right so here the answer is zero and here both bits are one so it is one right and the remaining all are zero only so here the answer is our answer is two right the, so you need to understand that if we are going to add zero zero with a zero then the answer will be zero only okay and zero and one also answer will be zero one one and zero also the answer will be zero but when both the bits are one then only the answer will be one okay so this is the case you need to understand okay according to this you can calculate the end of any numbers okay or return one if both bits are one okay that is the case in and so next one is or or we can represent using this symbol so in the case of or if any one bit is one then the answer will be one that is the condition okay here both are zero so the answer will be zero here one bit is one right that is enough the answer is one here also one bit is one so the answer is one both the bits are one so the answer is one so the condition is if at least one bit is one then the answer will be one okay so we will do an example uh, like two or three okay so in this case you know two is equal to uh, zero we will represent uh, for the time being we will represent with the three bits okay so here two can be represented as zero one zero right that is two and three can be represented as zero one one okay so here the answer is as we uh, learn now zero or one that is one right one or one that is answer one this is zero so we got the answer as three only clear and the next operation we are going to understand is XOR. XOR can be represented by this tilde operator. Okay. Uh, we have four conditions 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. 
in XOR operation, it returns 1 if the bits are different. For example, in this case, both are same, right? So, here the answer is 0 only. And here, different, right? Then it will be 1. Here also different. So, it will be 1. Here, both are same. So, it will be 0, okay? So, here you need to know that if the bits are different, then only it returns true, okay? That I mean 1. True means 1, okay? I need to XOR 3 and 2, okay? So, here 3 is... Uh, we can represent as 0, 1, 1, right? And 2 as 0, 1, 0. So, now I am going to XOR both the numbers. So, here I told when both the bits are different, then only the answer will be 1, right? So, this is 1. The remaining all are 0. So, here the answer is 1, right? So, now we are going to understand about the another bitwise operator that is the left shift. Left shift can be represented by this less than, less than symbol, okay. So, here for example, I want to left shift this number 3 by one place. For example, 3, then this is the number of place I want to shift. So, now I want to shift this number 3 by one bit, okay. So, in this case, how we can do is, first we will convert this into a binary number. So, here our number is something like 0. Now, I want to shift this number by one bit. So, what is going to happen is, this will be moved to this position, okay? And this will be moved to this position. This will be moved to this position. Like that, it is going to happen. So, we will write like that. So, one will come here and this one will come here. This zero will come here. This zero will come here. This will come here. This zero also come here. And this will also go here. And this last zero we will go for the this position. So here this will be here. Okay. Clear. So now the answer is 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 1. Right. That is mean by 6. Okay. So 3 left shift by 1. The answer is 6. That means there is also one trick we can learn from this. That is this means 3 into 2. Right. So Instead of multiplying a number by 2, we can also do this left shift operation, okay? So, left shift operation is also equivalent to multiply the number by 2, clear? Now, we will understand about the right shift, okay? Here, uh, right shift can be represented by greater than symbol, like 2 greater than symbol, okay? So, for example, I want to right shift number 6, okay? So, here I want to right shift number 6. So, here I want to write shift number 6 by 1 bit, okay. So, first we will write uh, the binary representation of number 6. So, it is comes like this. 0, 0, 4. So, this is the binary representation of number 6, right. That is 2 raised to 4, sorry, 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 1. That is 4 plus 2, that is 6, right. Now, I want to write shift, right. That means... This will come to this place and this will be go for this place. 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 And this will go for this place. And this will go for this first one, right? So here 0 will be there. And this 0 will be coming here, right? So, this is equivalent to 3, right? That is 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 0. This is also equivalent to divide by 2. You can notice that 6 division 2 is answer is 3, right? So, instead of dividing a number by 2, we can also use this right shift. Clear? If you are shifting the number by 1 bit, then it is divided by 2. If you are using 2, then it is equal to 4, dividing the number by 4, okay. So, that is a trick you need to notice. So, one more operator we need to learn is note operator. Note operator can be represented using a symbol like this. This is known as, I think, tilde symbol, okay. So, for example, I want to find out a note of 3, okay. So, first we need to convert this into 8-bit uh, binary, okay. So, here this is like 0, 0, 0. 
0 then 0 1 1 this is the number 3 right so when I am going to note of this 3 how it is going to happen is it will just flip the numbers I mean it flips the bits 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so in this case this all are 1 and this is 0 okay clear so here you can notice that this is the this is this bit is 1 that means this is a negative number and so note of 3 is a negative number we can check that while doing the code okay so here uh, first we will uh, try to convert a number into binary for example the number 3 okay so i am going to convert this into binary and i am going to print this you can see we are getting the output as 0b11 0b means that is a binary number okay so here i can if you don't want to see this too we can do something like this this is slicing we learned before okay so it will show only one one okay next uh, we will try to do some and or and all the operations we learn so first i'm going to do two and three okay so here the answer will be two right and again i'm going to do or operations like two or three so the answer will be three right so now i'm going to do xor of two and three so it will be like one okay we also learned not operator right so that also we can try this not of um, three okay so here it is coming like this minus four okay also we can try this left shift here like print three left shift one okay so it will be double of three right that is six and we can also try the right shift like six by two right that is three clear so this is the working of these all bitwise operators um, so I hope you understood it I hope you understand these all uh, operations and how we are representing a negative number that also I will show you here one example of negative number like print a binary of minus 2 okay So, we will run this code. You are getting minus 0b10. Okay. As we learned how we are, it is representing binary numbers using two complement method. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.